Welcome back, painters. Today we start a new series of videos about painting Space Marines. Today I will show you how to paint Blood Angels. It's going to be a two-part video. Today's is about using the airbrush. So, if you're ready, let's go for it. Let's start. The first step is priming the figure. I used the black and gray mixed technique. Visit the link to the video in which I explain how to prime your minis. I encourage you to watch it. Now I will paint the base color. I will use Scarlet Red from the game color range. Shake the bottle very well, put it on the blister and add some matte medium because game color paint range tends to be satin, so add a bit. I will also use airbrush thinner. Why would I use airbrush thinner? Because the game color range is thicker. So we mix everything to get a perfect dilution. Visit the link to the video where I explain how to thin down paint for airbrushing. It's super cool. I add a little bit of matte medium plus airbrush thinner. I stir them, very important that the dilution is perfect. Well, I think this is done. Bah, I'm going to add a little more. It's always good to mix and see that the dilution is not too thick because it will clog up the airbrush. I will use the Infinity CR Plus. The needle is 0.15 millimeters and the pressure is 1.8 bar. I check the spray on a sheet of paper and we are all set to apply the base color. As I always say, apply thin layers. It's always better to paint slowly to get a good finish. Pay close attention to the box, how I press the trigger and the finger position. I keep applying thin layers and covering everything. Here you can see the final result. This would be like three layers. Now I will paint the first highlight. I will mix gory red with pure red from the Vallejo primer range. I put both colors on a plastic blister. The proportion is 50% of each color, and I add some matte medium to matte the color somewhat. I mix it and I will add a little bit of airbrush thinner to get a much thinner paint consistency that will not clog the airbrush. That is crucial. I add some more matte medium, airbrush thinner, and mix again. The dilution consistency must be perfect. I check, and this is ready. I put it into the airbrush cup, and as I always say, I check that the spray comes out fine, and I will apply the first highlight.
Come on, see in the box, the finger position. Press down and very slightly back, and I apply the first highlights. Where? On the upper parts, we are looking for a contrast. Look at the knee where I hit the upper part with the highlight. On the leg, the same, in the center. I also highlight the edge. Tilt the airbrush a bit so the paint hits the edge just like that, and so we will create the first planes of highlight. On the upper part, the same. On the helmet, the same. Where do I apply the light? In the central area, leaving the sides without highlights. Keep painting very soft. On the shoulder, the same. On the upper area. And the more highlights you apply to the same part, the stronger the color gets. Here you can see in this part I already applied like three layers of highlight. Notice the color is more intense and we already have more contrast. I tell you again, be patient and don't rush. We are applying the highlights very slowly, we are in no hurry. Here you can see the final result of this blood angel. Second highlight, I will use pure red from the Vallejo Primer range. I put it on the palette and add matte medium. This color is quite satin, so we have to add a bit more to reduce that satin intensity. This color is also more liquid than the model color range because it's specially made for priming. So we don't have to use thinner, we can just use water to dilute it. I mix everything to get a perfect dilution which will not clog the airbrush. I put the mixture into the airbrush and check that it flows perfectly. This airbrush is my favorite. Next, I will apply the second highlight. Where would I apply the second highlight? On the same parts as before, but reducing the painting area. Now the key is getting a vivid red. So let's apply thin layers. And remember, when using the airbrush, paint layers are thinner. You will see an intense color, but after 30 to 40 seconds, the color loses intensity. So we have to apply a new highlight on the same part so that little by little, the color becomes more intense. Pay close attention in the box. These are soft touches. For those of you who are new to this channel, I remind you that I have some more airbrush videos, so check them out. Keep painting the second highlight. See how the airbrush is tilted so that the spray hits the area I want to highlight. And here you can see the final result. As you can see, the red is more vivid. Third highlight, I will use a mixture of pure red and dark red from the model color range.
I put both colors on the plastic blister, add some water, and mix. Pay close attention to the dilution, it's very important. Notice there is a bit of dry paint. Remove it. Because we do our mixing on a plastic blister, we can see that. If we mixed inside the airbrush cup, it would already be clogged. Let's check, and I have just made you a cool heart, eh? Well, let's move on and paint the third highlight. Where? On the same part as in the previous step, but reducing the area to be illuminated. Notice the airbrush is a little closer to have more control. If we push hard, what would happen? We get a super strong spray and surely the famous annoying spider legs would come out. So patience and tranquility. We are applying this highlight very slowly. We do not want to spoil the previous work. Having fun is the most important thing while painting. Stress-free, this is a hobby to have fun. Keep highlighting, and here there is the final result. The red color is increasingly intense. Fourth highlight, a dangerous step, we must be very precise. The mix is a bit of dark red and ice yellow. Why do I use ice yellow? Because in its composition it contains yellow. Yellow colors give luminosity, so we mix both colors properly to avoid clogging the airbrush. I will add a bit more dark red. We go little by little. This is an intermediate level video. Because of this, I want to go slowly so you can practice the highlighting process with the airbrush. It's done. We put it into the airbrush cup. We check by little dots and lines, and come on. We have to be more precise. Notice the airbrush is closer, and we will paint some slightly big dots to define the points of light. To emphasize this highlighted part, notice the shoulder pad already stands out more. We always check to make sure we are applying light to those areas. Look at how the knee looks, with just a few light touches. The foot, the same, in the center. Here you have to be precise. I explained some practical exercises in the airbrush handling video I recorded. Visit the link to the video, especially those who are new to this channel. Let me know of any questions you have in the comments. This will help me a lot when recording new videos, so I encourage you to comment below. Notice that I just add soft touches. With just a touch, you can see how it stands out. It emphasizes it because it contains ice yellow. Yellow adds luminosity. Write down this trick.
Notice how I am also tilting the figure to facilitate the highlighting work. The backpack, the same, upper area. There are just soft, magical touches. And here you can see the final result. This marine is very cool, no? Last airbrush step. I will add some ice yellow to the previous mixture because next we will paint the last touches with your favorite tool, the airbrush. We mix well. The airbrush must be absolutely clean, no clogs or anything, because we have to be totally precise. So we check it's all good, and let's paint those final touches. Note that on the shoulder pad, there are just some touches to emphasize the light. On the knee, the same. We are giving light little touches to mark the light, and so we get these so-called points of light. Look closely at the box, just soft touches. If paint dries out on the tip of the needle, remove it with a brush moistened with thinner. I talked about this trick on some previous videos. You see that the marine highlights are getting stronger. On the backpack, the same. Upper areas and soft touches. And here you can see the airbrushing final result. In the next video, I will explain how to finish this figure. We will use the brush to define everything and paint the edges, and we will get an amazing blood angel, so I encourage you to watch the next video. Did you like using the airbrush? Easy? Let me know any questions you have in the comments. I do read and answer you all. If you want to support such a cool channel, Hit the like button, share it with your friends, then ring the bell. And don't forget that in the video description, there is a full list of the products that I use. And if you live in Spain, you can get all the products from Goblin Trader, in France at Hobby Shop, and in the United Kingdom at Element Games. See you in the next video.